Yes, love it, boys, and loving the theme of Spain. And we're going to continue with the Spanish theme in the kitchen today. Viva Española! <laughs> so, we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks, Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic! A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Yeah, Española, here we come. And if you're looking for flavorful midweek meal inspiration, look no further than right here in your feel-good breakfast show. Now, we've got a version of the classic Coca Maloquina, which is simply the Spanish version of a pizza. Now, it offers a tasty rendition that makes midweek cooking a little more exciting. And Chef Tumi Chumi is here to show yeah. us how. Yes. I scream, you scream, you all scream for pizza. We all scream for <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I do all the time. I love any type of pizza. But this one I haven't I've actually tried, so I'm very interested in finding those subtle differences. It's almost like a, a mixture of a tart and a pizza together because Ooh, it's got that, no you know, that, that a border from made from made to look like a tart, but then yeah. it's got the base that sort of is like a pizza. So it's basically getting a two in one. You get like the best of both. Like a pizza and a cake, worlds. the best of both. Exactly. Come on, I mean, say no more. Let's get say into no this. more. So let's Zanzi's get started. probably salivating by the sound of it. First step is we're using the star of the show today, which is, which is our Clover oh, Classic Fat spread so yes. we're going to be making the dough for this uh, right so what we need to do is first melt our uh, okay. um, clover classic fat spread and then mix all the rest of the Ooh, ingredients and look together. how easy it is to work with this and i mean so come on easy. just talking about this ingredient uh, right now clover classic fat spread it's versatile it can be used as a spread to bake with or as you can see right now cooking with it as well and you can use it in any way and your own way and if you're wanting to add more flavor to the veg simply saute the peppers and add your favorite herbs and spices which you'll see right now and that's going to bring this even more to life. If it wasn't already alive, it already. is alive right now. It's at the I mean, carnival. But guy, <laughs> you're not just here to stand and look cute, so oh. I need you to do some work. All right, what you want, what you want. <laughs> How's about you just slice up some of those peppers for us? Because yeah, cool. we're going to be using a couple of different flavors here. And then right. the one signature flavor in a mayokina is actually the peppers. So we've got some red of peppers course. here. We've got those yellow peppers you've got yeah. over there. We've also got some uh, sweet picante peppers. We've also got some onions that are going to go into the peppers topping. stealing the show on this one, I see, right? Peppers are the star of the show today. <laughs> but before before we go too far, the first step for me would be to mix up our dough, which starts with some flour, we've got some yeast over here, we've got some sugar, and I'm gonna combine these two together before I go in with the wet ingredients, right. which in this instance will be our water, as well as that Clover Classic fat spread that I've just melted down because we want everything to obviously bind together. Right. But this so. is like the difference though, I mean, it's all in the dough really, if you really think about really? it. Really? And you're making some fresh dough right now, so that's giving you that authentic Spanish feel. You it's know what not, I mean? It's not uh, defrosted, it's got nothing of the sort. This is fresh, this is the real McCoy. The real McCoy. I absolutely McCoy. like this, man, I love it. <laughs> and because we're working with a, a, a yeast dough, we're gonna need to do all those steps where we let it prove and we let it rise and then we knock out the air and all those steps. So imagine that this is the dough that's been rested. I've done all that. Authenticity. I've needed Screaming it. Screaming authenticity, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> to the point of no return and then just <laughs> need it after what we need future. to do and we've got Boom. our dough. But before we do that, <laughs> let's actually get cooking the filling. Okay. So since I've got so much on my hands, my guy. May I ask you to start kneading this dough for yes. us? Yes. On the, and on actually the, just roll it on the out. table right here? Onto the surface. All You've right. got some flour over some there. flour. Thank you very much. And we basically want it to be like almost a rectangular shape, okay? Rectangular. We want it to be able rustic. to... Yeah, rustic. In the rustic shape. I like you know? that. You know? And most times what people would do is that they'd leave the edges, like you see how that um, the edges are there. Leave the edges yeah. and not roll those yeah. out. But if you do miss that step, you can always just roll over the edges so you've got the border in the center, um, on the sides of your dough. And then all I'm going to do is start frying up the rest of the filling here, which is our red onions. I've also got some chopped garlic that we're adding into this baby. Ooh, the kitchen's coming alive. Can, Can you hear the all sounds? We're rolling dough. We're searing and sautéing some onions. The smells are coming flavor. through. I can smell the classic clover uh, fast bread coming through as well. So that's just going to be the perfect pairing to this. Can and I ask you just to the, pass me those red, uh, yellow peppers yes, as well? Yes, and Let's officially the kitchen going. is now a carnival of <laughs> color and flavor. And flavor, yes. you are correct, because it is about that flavor as well. So let's put this baby over here. Yeah. We're gonna get frying over here, making sure that this mixture is nice and great. And you know what the other part is? If you don't get to fully cook this on the pan, it's okay, because it's gonna go into the oven to bake anyway. Afterwards? Oh, yeah. okay, so all right. The only reason we're doing this is just to combine those flavors and make it more pliable. Okay, but you. once you've done that, I see. What You're do you think of my rustic pizza base? I, I think you've done Voila. well. <laughs> you've done well for yourself, sir. We're going to transfer this baby over here. And yes, you remember, I was talking about that border. 
all you do is oh, just thicken it roll up. it up like this to make sure that you create that actual border. This is so, where we're getting those feelings of tartiness. Exactly, right? and it is it. rustic. You can never get a really perfect pizza. The whole idea is to make it nice and rustic. And then we're gonna score it here because what we want is because it's a yeasty dough, if you don't do this, it's gonna rise. And because okay, of the steam, it's gonna thick. create. We don't want okay. that. So we want the steam to escape. And as it escapes here, it stays whole as one thing. And then the center, Ooh, obviously the idea would be for this to cool on. down, yeah. right? Cool it down, add it to the center of your dough. Get this baby in the oven baking for about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the setting of your, of your oven. Once that's done, you've got this star-studded star superstar oh, Mayokina here. It smells with so basil. good. The Nine. peppers are bringing it all to life. Chef Chumia can't thank you enough for this. How pleasure. simple and fun was that? And for you, Mzanzi, you can head over to theexpressionshow.com right now. You can get the recipe, and if you're wanting to celebrate your everyday occasions with Clover Classic, you can stand a chance to win your share of 50,000 Rand in prizes. Then, all you have to do is enter, and that's by buying any Clover Classic product, and WhatsApp the toll slip of your purchase to the number 0749090000. Sorry, quadruple zero. So it's 0749090000. And of course, your terms and conditions can be found at clover.co.za. And here's a little reminder in case you missed the steps to this incredible classic recipe that tastes so good. Check this out. Mmm. Made with love by Clover.